everybody, Coach Paula here. Listen, I'm really excited to be sharing all of this great information this evening that I have compiled for you. Um, our webinar this evening is how to lose weight, fight inflammation, and prevent cancer naturally. And I'm so excited that you're here and you're ready to um, dive deep and, and learn some great tips on things that you can do to help uh, make your life healthier from the inside out. We're going to talk about a couple of really cool things, um, but my first thing is that I just ask you to keep an open mind. Um, all of this information is probably not new, maybe some of it is, but if you keep an open mind, it will help you to not feel so overwhelming. So that is my one request for you as we go through the slides. All right, let's get started. Now I am just using my notes here so I don't get lost. So when I look down, that's what I'm doing. So, um, okay. So we are going to be talking about how to lose weight, fight inflammation and prevent cancer naturally. But all of this is based upon doing it in simple um, baby steps. That's the formula that I like to use and that I like to teach people mainly because uh, it helps them to be more successful and they don't get overwhelmed. Okay, we're gonna go through the stuff together so it doesn't feel overwhelming and we can use each other to bounce ideas off of one another um, and help each other to feel successful. Another thing that we wanna think of when uh, making our, uh, like kind of making up our mind how we choose to respond to situations that can seem out of control. And that does dictate how successful we are in those situations. So for example, if you and your significant other, your hubby, your child, anyone, anyone in your life, get into a little spat, not that we do that, but you know, um, the need that, that overwhelms your mind often is, oh my God, I need some chocolate or, it is time for a glass of wine, right? So what I want you to start thinking of now is that those are the situations out of your control that you really can control by keeping an open mind and keeping a positive mindset. So know that that thought process may actually hurt you and prevent you from completing your goal, which may be weight loss. It may be fighting inflammation. And if you then tend to overindulge on those things a little bit more, it could eventually be harmful. So think of those uh, things as they're going through your brain and, and try to stop yourself. And lastly, some of this information might kind of hurt your feelings in that it may feel like I'm stepping on your toes just a teeny tiny bit. And what that means is that that might be an area of challenge for you. Um, if it's something that you feel people are really funny about food and if it's something that you feel like you just cannot get rid of and Coach Paula tells me I cannot have this anymore and blah 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 It's gonna be difficult for you if that's the mindset that kind of goes through your mind, right? But if you think of it from a different mindset um, Meaning I don't have to give up something that I love or no, I'm going to replace something very similar to what I love. So a great example would be ranch dressing. A lot of Southerners and Texans love their ranch dressing. Well, I teach and I have a recipe for an awesome, healthy ranch style like dressing. And I love to give it out to people because it tastes great. It's very similar to the taste of ranch and it's way healthier. So that's the kind of mindset that we want to have. Be willing to try new things. Okay. So what I wanted you to learn next is um, the number one killer in the United States and in the, in the country as a whole, um, the cause of death is inflammatory related diseases. And inflammatory related diseases is a huge wide, wide category of things. So what is an inflammatory disease? Well, um, it's the enemy is what it is. Um, but what those, what those things end up being to our body are type 2 diabetes. Now type 2, if, if you need a refresher, is the kind that's set by uh, obesity. 
So that's not the kind that someone would be born with or a juvenile diabetes, that would be a type one. So type two, uh, heart disease, which would be heart attack, stroke, that kind of stuff. Fibromyalgia, rheumatoid arthritis, asthma, IBS or IBD, um, and cancer. And all of those things start from that inflammation. So where do these inflammation issues begin? Where do these diseases attack? They attack in the gut. They actually all come from your gut. Now, you're wondering, why does my arm hurt? And what does that have to do with my gut? I don't think so. Yes, everything has to do, everything comes from the gut. Just like you have a brain in your head and your brain controls everything in your body, so does your gut. They actually call it the gut brain. And there are many books on it. You can actually Google it if you don't believe me get, uh, you know, to, to get more of an idea. But it's a real thing. And the gut is just as important as the brain in, is. And as a matter of fact, numerous studies are showing that when you clean up your gut, you're able to think and be more, uh, think more clearly and be more effective doing all kinds of things like work related and focus and, and that kind of stuff. So there are a million reasons why we need to get our gut healthy. Um, that's just one of them. Okay. So what we want to remember is that, um, our father of, uh, medicine back in the day, Hippocrates taught us that when he would perform autopsies, uh, his words were, all disease forms in the gut. All disease originates in the gut. When he performed autopsies, what he found was it didn't really matter what the disease was or what the underlying issue was that ended up causing the person the harm in the end. It was when he would go back and look in that gut that there was an overpopulation of bad or unhealthy bacteria growing in that gut. So that's where that comes from. Um, that's why it's, it's known that the gut is what kind of is the boss of everything. So the bad bacterial overgrowth in the gut is responsible for all of these ailments. So what causes these bacterial problems is the overgrowth. So the overgrowth of uh, all of these bad bacteria that are overpopulating the gut are really what end up making us sick. The good guys in the middle don't have enough defense and they end up dying. And the overpopulation of the bad guys take over and they win and that makes us sick. So what we need to do is kill off all the bad guys with the army in the middle and make them stronger and more successful so they can overpower the bad guys. Okay, basically the easiest way to understand it. Um, so going on to our, our um, picture here so you can better understand what I'm talking about, right? Here is that inflammation and in the gut, the outcomes, the things that come out of it, which Hippocrates was finding, was all of these different issues that are going on, right? Now, obviously, way back when, excuse me, when Hippocrates was alive and, you know, all of this stuff was being learned, some of these diseases did not even exist yet. Okay, some of these are very new. However, the sickness has always been there. It's just that today we have so much more information and we have so much more knowledge of what to do and you know, how to figure it out. But all of these things seen on your screen here come from inflammation, okay? So inflammation attacks and kind of exacerbates Every one of these, you know, heart disease, Alzheimer's, I didn't mention that earlier, but Alzheimer's is one of them. And they're finding lots of studies on that. Um, autoimmune diseases, arthritis, da -da 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 -da, cancer. All right. So what I want to give you a tip about, a word about losing weight would be, obviously, if it were an easy thing to do, we would have a world full of skinny, happy people. Um, yeah, we don't have that, and it's not easy to do. And the reason why it's not easy to do is because so many people don't understand 
that it all has to do with gut health. And even doctors and nutritionists don't all understand the importance of gut health and that it's the actual healthy gut that helps us to lose weight, fight inflammation, and prevent cancer. So when we can do these things to make our gut healthy, we're winning the battle. So another thing to keep in mind is let's not judge someone's ability or inability to lose weight. So for example, my whole life I've, I've been small, petite. It's my bones, my DNA, everybody on both sides of my family, teeny tiny people. Everyone has really skinny arms, really skinny legs, and a big round middle, right? That's the DNA. Okay, so judging me for being skinny isn't really fair because no matter how much eat I eat and how sick I get, I still have very skinny arms and legs and a, and, a, and a belly in the middle. Like that's just how I'm made up, right? I can't put weight on my legs. They don't keep weight, right? Likewise, it's not fair of me to judge someone for having big hips or a big bottom because that's where they happen to carry. That is what I believe is true about genetics, okay? What I don't believe is true about genetics is all of the other stuff. Well, my dad, you know, is overweight and he's gonna, you know, and, and he has all these issues, so I'm automatically, you know, destined to be the same way. I don't believe that at all. And I think a lot of uh, nutritionists and some doctors, people who uh, really understand nutrition, believe that you can change your insides by what you put in your mouth. It doesn't all, all come down to DNA, right? Obviously, bone does, but that's it. Okay, so what is a lifelong battle for me may not be a li lifelong battle for you. We're not going to judge. Now, how do I know if it will work for me? Well, the best way for you to know what works best for you is different, uh, different, um, different things. We're going to go through them really quickly, okay? You need to understand what makes you feel good after you eat. What makes you feel full and satisfied? What have you eaten that felt good even when you went to the bathroom? You still felt good. So what I mean by that is, oh my gosh, this, is, this mac and cheese is so delicious. I'm going to eat it all. And then three hours later, you're digesting. And all of a sudden, grr, grr, grumble, grumble. Oh, you don't feel so well, right? That is not something that your body is loving you eating. So that's something to pay attention to. Okay, another thing, do you drink water? Do you take supplements? Those are things that you need to know um, will prevent you from being successful or not successful because it is well known you need those things, okay? What foods did you eat that possibly upset your stomach? Did you have gas or make you feel bloated or possibly give you diarrhea? If you ate something that did that, you might not want to eat it again. The best way to do all of these things is a food journal. So what you want to do is write it down. Just take a little notebook, really. Um, pretty much any kind works. I like spirals because you can flip back and forth pretty quickly and you can see. So I became gluten-free and I started my whole learning journey at the end of 2009. So since then, wow, this is 18. So this November, it will be 10 years. Um, I have learned a lot in 10 years. And what I can tell you is the good news is there's so many more choices now. Um, but what's even better is um, this is totally possible now and it's totally doable and you can do it. So that's the good news. But writing it down will save your life. So write it down. Okay. The best way for you to actually lose weight is drink water. This is founded upon research and it is factual. I know people probably think that it makes me full. Why would I want to, you know, drink water? And you want to drink water before you eat and then you're less likely to eat as much, especially if you tend to be someone who, uh, you know, eats more than they should portion control wise. Okay. So next, you want to plan to do more grocery shopping. And what I mean by that is not just going down each, every aisle, up and down, up and down, buy more groceries, yay. No. You want to be um, shopping the perimeter of the grocery store. 
Think of how they set up the grocery stores where it's usually produce and meats and dairies and, and um, the bakery. They do all of that around the outsides. What's inside the aisles is all the packaged things, the frozen things. That's the kind of stuff you really need to limit and really need to kind of uh, stay away from. Now there are definitely, when you look at the aisles, there are definitely st uh, strategic ways that they place things to market to you. But a lot of grocery stores, if you look closely, you can figure them out. They tend to have healthy, healthier, healthy is super healthy, and at the very end is the no-go, crap, 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 crap stuff. So if you kind of look at your aisles, just kind of superficially, you'll, you'll, you'll see that. All right, you also want to be open to eating different foods than you have in the past, like Kia. What? Quinoa. What? It's new to you, maybe. It doesn't matter. It doesn't mean it's gross, just because it's hard to say and spell. That being said, keep an open mind. Okay. Now, the other thing that you really need to do is include supplements in your daily life. What does that look like? Well, it means taking vitamins and minerals and probiotics, prebiotics, the whole nine yards. Okay. And we're going to get to that. Okay. Next one is a healthy portion guide. <clears throat> so this is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just going to talk more about the picture. As I'm talking about that, you can read the stuff that's listed, okay? So what our plate really needs to be made up of, and you're not going to see this at a lot of restaurants or places because, well, they just don't serve food this way. But this is the way a healthy body, a healthy brain and when I say brain, I mean the way that you should look at it and think, right? This is the way that your, your um, plate should look. Half of your plate, fruits and vegetables. You can do a mix. You can do, you know, your fruit here and your vegetable here, whatever. Half fruits and vegetables. You do one quarter with good whole grains as starches. And then the other 25 would be, you know, the other... Um, half of the half, one quarter, uh, would be your meats. And those meats would be good, whole, um, grass-fed, you know, lean meats that are really good for you. Um, a lot of times, if you're looking for seafood, wild-caught, that kind of thing is, is a better option. Obviously, organic chicken, uh, grass-fed beef, that kind of stuff is going to be the best bet for your proteins. Now, just a word about carbs and carbohydrates. Uh, those things are good in moderation, but I always recommend, like I said, things like quinoa because they also contain good amounts of fiber and higher protein levels. So it will help fill you up and it doesn't register as uh, such a, a high carb to your body as you're digesting, much lower in sugar. Therefore, it doesn't break down the same way. And you don't see the same results. So it's kind of considered, um, if you're on a sugar-free diet or no sugar, whatever, it's kind of, quinoa is kind of considered one of the best carbs to have. Just in case you weren't aware, carbs break down as sugars, just like dairy breaks down as sugars. So if you're trying to go sugar-free, do not forget about those carbs and dairy because that's how it breaks down in your body. All right. Now, how can we reduce inflammation? Well, inflammation actually pops up in the body in lots of ways, okay? We can see it, we can feel it, we can smell it, and we can taste it. Now, I know you're thinking, what? <laughs> but it's true, okay? And so we're gonna go through each of these. How we can see inflammation in the body. Well, that's where skin rashes come from, like eczema, dandruff, and plaque psoriasis. And it's okay. Uh, the best way to know is when you really can't get rid of it well. It keeps flaring back up again. You really can't seem to get rid of it. A very good example is bad dandruff. If you are constantly itching and digging and you have dandruff flakes everywhere, 
that is inflammation in the body. That is your skin telling you, mm, something's not right here. I'm not very happy. Something's going on in the gut. Okay. I can tell you when I stopped eating, um, when I stopped eating gluten and dairy, it got way better. However, once my gut got the cleanest, my dandruff, which I suffered for my whole life, went away. It can happen. All right, so we can see it on our skin. We can feel it in our joints, meaning we have some people get tennis elbow, we have joint and knee pain, uh, hip pain, you know, shoulder pain, this phantom pain that just kind of starts happening. And if you go and have an x ray and they say, no, is it swollen? No, that is kind of that pain that I'm talking about. A lot of people end up being diagnosed with this pain and they label it fibromyalgia. Well, what fibromyalgia is? Inflammation, period. That's what that is. And it does hurt. I'm not saying it doesn't hurt by any means. It's just that's what the root is, inflammation, okay? So we feel it. Um, we smell it, and I'm gonna talk about that one in just, an, in just another minute. Um, but with the, the tasting of inflammation, um, actually is more uh, not a, a flavor as much as is that um, our taste buds actually kind of change and we crave things differently, right? So you know that when you've had a lot of sugar in your body, you crave more sugar. When you've taken a lot of sugar out of your body and then you then reintroduce sugar, it's a little too sweet for you, right? And so that is kind of the body's way of saying, ooh, pay attention here. And then all of a sudden you kind of go, you know, maybe you have more of a reaction than you, you would normally, right? So coffee can affect you a little bit more or uh, if you've, you know, not had caffeine. Let's say you have um, candy. You don't normally eat candy. You've taken sugar out, blah, blah, blah. You have another, and then all of a sudden you get a headache. Bingo. Okay, so those are the kinds of things that our body is trying to talk to us and tell us. Okay, now we're going to get to the nasty one. It's the smell. Now, this is the one I'm trying really hard not to gross people out. However, no one ever has the potty talk discussion. We need to have the potty talk discussion. The reason is because, in my opinion, and I believe I have a real personal reason why I feel so passionate about this particular subject <laughs> um, it is a life or death thing. It, it really is. And when your body is trying to tell you year after year after year that things are not right and you just choose to listen, or excuse me, you just, to, just choose to ignore and not listen, that's where problems begin. And that's where things like IBS leads to IBD, which leads to inflammation, which leads to cancer. My mom passed away in August of pancreatic cancer, and she suffered for 20 years with really bad bowel issues. And so this is hard for me. I suffered with them too, but this for me is the best way that you can tell how sick or how healthy you are. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next one, the picture. Okay, please don't get disgusted. This is, you know, you can do it. We just need to talk really quickly. So as you can see on the chart, you have different label uh, categories, thank you, categories of poops. And your stool can come out in different ways. We know this. We've experienced this. We change diapers. We've, when moms, moms have, not all women, um, but maybe elderly women who take care of elderly parents. Anyway, we know about poop, right? Poop varies very differently depending upon your level of health. And people don't always realize this, okay? So your separate hard little lumps, the rabbit turds that people call them, um, a lot of kids get that, right? They, they eat those chicken nuggets all the time. And those are showing that you're very constipated. You really don't have very much fiber in your diet. And that's what you get from those. Lumpy and sausage-like, you know, slightly constipated. So you can kind of see the little 
um, rabbits, but they're the turds, but they're mixed in there with the others. That's kind of the same thing, slightly constipated, right? And then we have more of a good looking one, but it has kind of lots of cracks in it, okay? And that's not really um, as normal, but it's better than a lot, right? So it looks more normal. And this is what you think of, um, what was that movie um, when there was a baby Ruth floating in the, in, the, in the pool and everyone cleared out of the pool? Caddyshack. Yeah, Caddyshack. So Caddyshack shows that scene and that's, that's what that one looked like. Anyways, it just cracks me up. The number four one, the most normal, is the best, pardon me just a moment, I'm recovering from a cold. I need to, there, okay. Um, the most healthy one, it looks like a sausage, uh, like a brown snake, whatever. Um, it's nice and whole, and it doesn't have funny parts to it. That is your best, most normal, healthiest looking. Um, the way that it comes out, when it comes out, it actually feels nice. Like, you feel clean inside. Like, that was a new concept for me until six months ago, for real. I never had had them that nice before, okay? That is what a good, healthy one looks like. All right, then we go down to our mm, not so good, blobby, you know, that one shows you also that you're lacking fiber, right? That, that you need better, you know, fruits and vegetables and things like that. And this is where our ones with problems come from. Um, type six, type seven, um, if you're having these kind of regular, um, this is bad news right here. So mushy and inconsistency, anything loose, this is all loose stuff that really doesn't have much form. Um, that mushy consistency, a lot of times raggedy looking, um, that shows inflammation. That shows that you're kind of already beyond the constipated, you know, that you're kind of getting sick. And then type seven is the worst, and that's just plain old, just diarrhea, just straight up nastiness. And it is usually the worst smelling. So earlier when I mentioned smells, right? So all of these play in. The first few of them, we don't really smell as much. Um, there's not much to them too, right? Um, the middle kind where we're in the healthy range, um, don't much smell. Sometimes they have like a tarish look because they're healthier, right? But the really stinky, nasty ones, those are ones that show how unhealthy we are, okay? Those are the ones that reek to high heaven. So those are the ones that produce, you know, unhealth. And those are the ones that are scary. So those are the ones that we need to pay attention to, okay? All right, let's go on. Enough about food. <laughs> all right. So your gut is telling you all the time what it's thinking right? What you need to do is be aware of your stool routine at all times. It's really that important, okay? Um, so sometimes you can even hear how well your body's doing by um, how it processes this food, right? So if you've ever had your meal and you sit down on the couch and all of a sudden, like, the dog's cocking his head or like your husband's like, what is that going on? And your stomach is just turning and turning and you're making all these. That's processing a meal that you have had. And usually the louder and nastier it sounds, the harder it is working to break down all that stuff, right? And so that's your body trying to tell you by the sound that mm, it's not so good. Have you ever eaten a salad and then heard all that? Probably not, right? So you can usually tell if you get a lot of that noise, digestion, you know, stuff, your body's having a hard time, okay? So that's another good indication for us that we should be listening. Okay. Um, okay, and then the only other thing that I wanna say about this with the supplements is um, when you are on very good high quality supplements, you can improve the whole potty problem from start to finish. It's really not that difficult to do. You can have all those constipation issues go away. You can have the inflammation problems go away. You can actually attain those normy, excuse me, normal, healthy, um, you know, poop levels, basically. All right, how do we do that?
we do it by probiotics. Now, I want you to kind of look closely at this slide because the image on um, the right side that says probiotics just kind of shows you some good things that you can keep in mind, right? So what probiotics are doing is they're healing your gut, right? It's these supplements that we eat. We get them also from our food, but we can take these supplements, okay? And they help create good bacteria in our gut and they help improve our digestive system, right? So how that happens is below by the things that you can eat and what's going on inside. So the things that you can eat that you know, pr promote this great stuff would be um, good, good, uh, good yogurt, okay? Now I'm not talking the kind that people like to eat, right? I'm talking about the good kind that's sour, the good kind that you're like, I need some honey in that or, you know, oh, strawberries and you want to, you know, that's actually the good kind of yogurt, unfortunately. Even the vanilla flavor, they say, eh, not so much. Now, I beg to differ, but as long as you're eating that kind occasionally and you're not thinking, oh, this is great for me. I'm having this every day, every day, every day, you know, and that's usually the people that say, oh, I'm eating healthy for my gut and they're having the kind that's pink or purple, you know, that's sugared up and yeah. Um, not so much. So the good stuff, eh, it, it kind of tastes sour. And the thing about sour is it's really good. It has fermentation going on in there. That's what g contains the probiotics. That's your kefir or kefir. Some people say it differently. Um, that's the fermented aspect of it that actually helps give off good probiotics, right? Okay. And then the other things that you see going on inside there are the um, intestinal tract, um, you know, is, is kind of working with these foods in a good way to create good, healthy growth of that good, healthy bacteria, okay? So that's kind of why I like that image so much because it's showing you um, in, in a nice roundabout way um, all of that good stuff. Now, I also love this image of the bottle that I put on here because it shows you close up the, the best probiotics found in foods. So I'm just going to list those off real quick for you. It's cabbage and onion and garlic. Uh, there's purple potatoes. Bananas are high in them as well. Um, and I think that that one image is harder to tell. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it, I'm not positive. I wonder if it's, um, oh, now it escapes me the name of that stuff. Uh, what are they called? Uh, I love them. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> By the time I think of it, I'll, you know, I'll be halfway through the slides. All right, on to the next one. We won't die. All right. I kind of already talked about this, so I'm just not really going to go much into it. But again, fermented foods, the good real yogurt that doesn't taste awesome, right? Garlic and onion, purple potatoes, pomegranate, cranberry, and beets. All of those good real rich in reddish colored um, fruits and veggies. Those are really awesome for you and your digestive, digestive tract. Now what I wanna talk about in detail with these is why they're so good. All right, so fermented foods, um, those involve um, sauerkraut and cabbage, okay? Those are the ones that um, you probably should think to put in like fish tacos, people put them in. Um, they make them taste really good, but you can put those things in your salad as well, right? So that's a good thing to add. And again, the yogurt, not just any yogurt, the sour kind, okay? Um, the garlic and onion. Now, what's hard about this is you have to eat a lot of it and then you're giving off that <sighs> garlic, onion breath, right? So, but they actually do do a good job at killing the bacteria that's in there. So, I guess Italians, you know, they just, they love that. So maybe they have a little risk. I don't know. <laughs> Probably so. Purple potatoes. I did a, um, I, I did a, uh, what would you call it? A, when you listen to a docu-series over many days, right? Um, it, it was listening. It wasn't even webinar form. Um, but I was listening to all these um, experts and one of the guys got on there and he literally talked about purple potatoes. They're a little harder to find, 
some of the nicer grocery stores and or, and or specialty food stores are more likely to carry them, but the, and they're smaller. So you can get small red ones and small, you know, yellow ones or whatever, and then you can fa probably find the purple ones with them. But those purple ones are very good at preventing cancer. So I loved hearing that, and I'm going to be eating more purple potatoes. Um, okay. And uh, the last thing is the pomegranate, cranberry, and beets. And all of them contain levels of um, Acromatia bacteria, which is a anti-inflammatory and metabolism, metabolism boosting um, ingredient. And Acromancia, sorry, I said it wrong. Acromancia uh, is a very good ingredient uh, that a lot of good products have in it. Okay, so what does this mean for me? And what is good about these probiotics, right? So let's look here at the next one. The benefits of regular probiotic use, right? So they find that women who take um, probiotics regularly have fewer UTIs and lower list, uh, yeast infections, right? Their immunity is going better, they're feeling healthier, they are um, less diagnosed really, right? Okay, their immunity is better. So pro probiotics help lower that inflammation and they prevent certain types of infections, such as yeast infections, UTIs, colds, that kind of stuff, right? Not the common cold, but the, um, the kind that uh, spreads, sorry, the, 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 the worst kind, the kind that goes around when your daughter sneezes on you and you have a runny nose. That's how this happened. Thank you, Hannah. Obesity. Obesity um, is something that can be uh, uh, lessened with probiotics, meaning you take them regularly and you have a good healthy diet and you exercise, you're way less likely to be obese. So that can be changed with frequent probiotic use. All right, digestive health. Um, again, these things um, can change when you're taking probiotics, the bloating, the, IP, the IBS, um, GERD, constipation, all that kind of stuff. So your digestive system is working healthier and happier when you're taking probiotics. I like this other side because a lot of people don't know about this side. So. Probiotics help with stress. They help, and they've done numerous studies on this, but they have shown to elevate mood, reduce anxiousness, enhance mental clarity during those stressful times, right? They promote energy, um, better focus, all of that kind of stuff. Um, there are children, they've done studies on this. Um, I have on my blog a couple of different articles that I love to share for parents that if you have a child that suffers from ADD, ADHD, autism, by changing their diet, potentially you can help alter those uh, struggles and those, that diagnosis from being so prominent, right? So I'm talking about the severe cases, the cases that are mm, well-documented and justified by a pediatrician, that kind of thing. Um, Numerous studies have shown changing diet can help prevent. Um, now, you know, I'm not using the word cure because nothing can ever be cured just by taking a magic pill, right? By eating, you know, healthy for two weeks, right? It doesn't work like that. However, lifestyle changes and taking probiotics and all of this stuff combined can lower the chances of issue, okay? Lower the chance of risk, lower the chances of someone being, um, you know, in that chronic state is what I'm trying to say. Okay, energy can increase with frequent use of probiotics, okay? And lastly, skin. Skin can actually get healed, and I'm talking the psoriasis, eczema, that stuff can actually heal on the skin. Acne, acne absolutely can help uh, clear up by good probiotic use. 
And I feel like my daughter Hannah is a great example of that. She was struggling a lot with her face. Um, and we switched her to some good probiotics and her skin improved significantly. Okay. So there's lots of different things. And then the last thing about skin is delayed aging. So your skin can tighten and firm and show less wrinkles and all of that kind of stuff with great probiotics. Okay. <coughs> this next one is um, just a pick real quick. Um, I just want to go over it real fast to show you uh, the pros of probiotic good health and basically uh, how, it, how it breaks down. So again, we talked about your immune system in your gut being so important. And these are the actual statistics that 70 to 90% of your immune system actually comes from your gut, your GI tract, right? So you're more likely to get that common cold or the flu or the whatever, 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 if you are unhealthy in the gut. The healthier your gut is, the more healthy you will be and you're less likely to have issues, right, in the immune system because your immune system is weakened when your gut is unhealthy. Okay, and then we talk here about the trillions and billions of bacteria that are inside our, our guts, uh, inside our, our, um, our bodies. And most all of them are the beneficial good ones. But those bad ones um, are the ones that end up taking over and cause problems when we don't keep our gut healthy and in check, okay? So I want to go back, back down to the bottom, um, and this is a good point to make. Even though probiotic-rich foods are healthful choices, you need to take a probiotic supplement to ingest enough bacteria to actually make a difference. So what this is saying is, even though those foods, like I talked about a few slides ago, you know, the cabbage and the onion and the red, um, uh, excuse me, the purple potato, um, those are all great, but you need to eat a lot of them to make a huge difference. However, supplements help make up that difference. Supplements are specifically important if you're trying to treat a problem, right? And what we're talking about is losing weight, right? preventing inflammation, and preventing cancer. So if you're trying to pre uh, prevent specific illnesses like IBS, which is gut you know, health, or other things, right? Celiacs, Crohn's disease, um, lactose intolerance, all of that kind of stuff, it's getting the gut healthy first, okay? All right. Now, not all supplements are created equal, just like a lot of things in our world. However, most people buy the probiotics um, and often the doctor recommends that infants or young children take probiotics after they have given them an antibiotic. Uh, those are the most times I've seen them given out, right? They don't often even tell adults after they're writing them pr the prescription you need to take a probiotic with this. It could give you diarrhea. It could, you know, upset you. You could have rash, whatever. It, they don't often say that. Pediatricians, I find, are more likely to because uh, you're probably more aware of your child's bathroom habits than you are your own because we get to that certain point in life and we just think our normal is fine for us and we don't talk about it, right? So that's really where all of that stops. People get grossed out, whatever, whatever. Um, that's the problem right there, okay? So what we need to know is that it's very important to be aware of, right? And we need to talk about um, the importance of taking probiotics with antibiotics because they're helping to repopulate all of that healthy, good stuff that the antibiotic kills off, right? That's what its job does is to kill off the bad stuff. Well, it also kills off the good stuff. We need to repopulate the good stuff with the probiotics. So many probiotics are sold over the counter, uh, which is fine. And not all of them, though, are high quality. And even the ones that are high quality, they try to tell you that they must be refrigerated. 
You must get them out of the refrigerator for them to be the highest of quality. And I can be the first one to tell you that I bought those. I absolutely bought those and I took them. And then I took something else and it didn't have to be refrigerated and wooey, what a difference. Um, when the body knows, the body knows. And when you go to the bathroom and there's fact proof right there in front of your eyes, you know. So I'm just saying that you don't need to be marketed to, you need to know your body, right? You need to know how your body responds. If you do great with over-the-counter ones that are cheap, 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 excellent. Go buy them. I'm simply saying to you that every, every, every person's body is different. And most people don't find from just cheap probiotics over the counter um, that they do that long-term health, you know, for them. So um, I'm just kind of putting that out there. Okay. So the next thing that I do want to point out, though, is that we can't just take them, excuse me, <clears throat> we can't just take them for a couple of weeks and think that we're done, right? We're, we're, we're not ever going to, to um, improve our gut and get it all cleaned up and healthy in such a short amount of time. Because the truth is, um, I guarantee it took more than two weeks to get it that way. So it's going to take more than two weeks. And the, and the same is true for two months. Um, it takes a while and it can take a long while. So I wanted to show you a little clip and this one is not, it doesn't have my play button. I might have to X out. Um, hmm. I think what I'm gonna to have to do is separate. Yeah, I think I'm gonna to have to do that separate. Okay, so what it will be is a link following this or on my website or wherever, and I will have this um, played because what happened was it was supposed to have a hyperlink and insert a video and he's not here. Hmm. Anyway, um, that is a picture of your gut. And some of those little guys in there are your good and bad bacteria. And you can see kind of by looking at them, which ones are which. Um, so it's, I guess it's a pretty good example, but this little clip is awesome because it kind of shows you what I'm gonna tell you about the, the stuff on the right. So my experience, um, again, I, I shared very briefly why I turned, uh, why this became such a, an important thing in my life. Now, pardon me while I take a quick sip. Um, so I briefly shared why it became such an important thing, but going back to almost 10 years now, I started having lots of issues myself and I went to a, um, a doctor, an actual counselor doctor. And I wanted to rule out being depressed because my husband and I were having kind of issues and he was kind of, I used the term, um, in the, in the book that I was a part of, in my, uh, the book that I was in, um, I called it <clears throat> the dragon lady. I was um, thought of as the dragon lady. And at least not, he, his words were not that. Mine, mine were about me. Uh, he never called me that. But I called myself the dragon lady because I was very irritable. I was not happy. I was not healthy. And I was raising two little toddler girls who were angels. And I just had a problem with my health. My health made it hard for me to be a good mom, and it was a very big battle. So long story short, I went to see a counselor to rule out that I was depressed. What she found was that I wasn't really all that depressed. I had a little bit of irritability, um, but she said that I had food issues. And I said, oh, okay, um, I don't think so. I eat pretty healthy. I don't know. Uh, goodbye. So I thanked her for her time, and I went on my way. Um, and again, I, I share this in my, my book, um, but uh, long story short, um, I had a food reaction a week later, and I called her back up and I said, I have to come in. You were right. I have a food issue, and I'm just now like getting it. And so I went back to her. Come to find out, she was a registered dietitian. 
She knew exactly what she was talking about. She was right. She helped me maintain a uh, gluten-free, uh, corn-free, coffee-free, you name it, free lifestyle for a very long time. I did it for about seven years. And over the last uh, three or four years now, I've been adding things back in. Um, thank the Lord. <laughs> but for those seven years, I was on a very strict diet. And I let my, uh, my gut heal, really, is what was happening during that time. Now, during that time, however, I didn't take supplements. She never really mentioned supplements. We healed my uh, gut with food, which was good. It took a while. It took seven years. That's kind of a long time. Seven years. And after I started adding those foods back in, things started cropping back up again. Things that I really wanted to be able to add back in like corn because a lot of gluten-free products are made with corn and it's hard to find corn-free, gluten-free, blah, 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 blah. It just is. Um, and when you're on the go with kids and working and life and husbands and dogs and you know, the whole nine yards, it's hard to scratch cook every day. And when you live in that lifestyle, you know, it's one thing, but then you don't usually have a hundred activities. It's for the people that have the hundred activities that have a hard time eating like that, right? So anyway, in this day and age, what I find to be true for most people is food alone doesn't really work, which is why supplementation is so important. So I was introduced to this product called uh, Plexus. And this particular product is what I'm sharing with you about, not because I want you to go out and get this. That is not what this is about. I'm telling you my experience, okay? And I'm throwing it out there just so you know, because you deserve to know. That's why I want you to know. That's what I want you to hear, okay? I want you to know what's possible for your body. I did not know this was possible for my, mom, uh, for my body. And my mom certainly didn't know it was possible for her body. And so my prayer is that I help teach and encourage and educate people so they don't end up like her, okay? Um, it's so doable. It's so possible. You just need the right tools. So I want to share with you my tools that I've learned about. And that is Plexus. And these three amazing products have helped me go from being what I thought was pretty healthy, pretty happy, all of that to amazing. All right, and it comes from this triplex, and it's a three-part system. One of them is a little powder drink mix. The other one is a um, little capsule that you take BioCleanse, and what that does is help kind of get things moving and get it out, right? And our image here on the other side, it's kind of looking clear in the middle. That's what we want. We want to clear it all out, right? And then the ProBio 5 is the last one. You take that at nighttime. That's the, um, that step is the uh, rebalance one. That's what kind of gives your body the jump start it needs, that extra push while you're sleeping. So it really does a lot of work overpopulating all of the good gut bacteria and help them to grow healthy and strong again, right? If you've ever seen an image, of uh, what that looks like. It looks like seaweed in, in the ocean, right? And it moves around kind of like this. That's what it's supposed to look like. And what happens is over time, when we get sicker, they just start to die and they just start to disintegrate and go away. And then they turn into little blobs. And that's what we don't want it to do, right? We want it to be healthy and thriving and growing. So the best way that I found for my body to do that was triplex. And I feel very, um, uh, very passionate about sharing what helped me with people. And again, the reason is because I felt like it did a, such a better job than everything else I've tried. I did try the expensive probiotics. I went to the naturopath um, doctor. She's a holistic doctor. I went on her system. I saw results. And I paid $32,000 out of pocket. <laughs> yeah, it's really kind of crazy. Now, I love her. I actually really like 
her and the lady that she works with. And she's one of my very good friends from church. As a matter of fact, she's the one that recommended that I go there via a friend. And I love that place. And I will always go there. But for me, her probiotic, her probiotic, excuse me, regimen just didn't help me the way that my body needed. And this worked for me. So triplex, the job is to remove the bad stuff, restore the good stuff, and rebalance the gut so you have those good, healthy poops. Really. I mean, that's how you know, right? It's not always about poop. And I don't want to disgust people, but truthfully, that's how you know your gut is healthy, right? We can see that. Okay. That being said, daily probiotic and prebiotic um, use will help you to lose weight. It will help you to fight inflammation in the gut, and it will help prevent cancerous cells from forming or taking over. Okay, now again, I used to take those pretty good supplements, the ones from the doctor. I took ones from um, doTERRA, which have phenomenal product. Uh, I love their oils. It's a fabulous company, right? I just didn't see the results that I needed to see from the supplements. And I had issues with yeast over and over and over, even though I was doing those things. I was seeing the doctor, I was using their treatments, and I would still get these yeast issues. Um, so my first one was a skin yeast rash all over my belly and my gut area. And then a year later, I got a yeast infection up inside. And I found that basically um, what I was using wasn't effective for me. And when I learned by taking triplex what healthy could look like, <laughs> my whole world changed. So I had to share with you though, because I think it's the cutest thing ever. This is their motto, healthy gut, happy you, weight loss too. It's not about weight loss, but essentially that's what happens in the process of getting your gut healthy, right? So your gut gets healthy, you rebalance, you restore, and you do, excuse me, I love that, you remove, restore, and rebalance um, all of the things in your gut and what you get out of it is health, right? Now, if you remember, go back a few slides, just in your mind going back, um, it talked about how mood can be enhanced and how you can actually think clearer and you, know, you perform better and all of that when you're taking good probiotics. So for me, I had all of those things happen. I was thinking more clearly, I was sleeping like a baby and not waking up. Um, and now today with modern technology, you know how you can figure that out when you wear your uh, Fitbit and it tracks your sleep and it shows up and down and up and down and you're awake and asleep and awake and asleep. And then when you're really healthy, it's like you're dead. <laughs> how do we know? It's like we're dead, right? We're, our body is happy. We're at rest. And that's true rest. So that's why lots of people um, that take this triplex system say over and over again how excited they are that they're sleeping good. Um, it's one of the benefits. And then when they wake up, they're clearer and they have more energy and it kind of perpetuates a cycle of happiness. And that leads to happiness. The ingredients are good, but the results speak for themselves. Now again, I'm not the only one. This worked for me. I'm not telling you you have to buy it. But that being said, I encourage you to just go look online. Do a little bit of research. I think that you will see and you will find that really it's a great product. I've shown it to quite a few doctors in the area and they all agree that, yep, it's a good product, right? And usually what people say when they bring it to their doctor is, wow, your levels are so much better. You're doing so well. Keep doing whatever it is you're doing because they know what they have isn't getting the results that give what this gives. All right. So the results speak for themselves. Again, I'm happier than I've ever been, sleeping better. And so 
The key to a healthy life is by making good decisions in mind, body, spirit. And I made the decision that I had to add plexus to my coaching. So that is what I've done. And I know without a doubt that this product is going to help people to get happier and healthier, right? From the inside out. And how we do that is also incorporating um, our spiritual self. Because when we focus on our health and we focus on our education and we focus on uh, some of those other aspects of our life, literally spiritual things happen inside us. And I'm not talking religious stuff here. I'm talking really on the inside transformations can be made, right? Because you can feel better. And that's what this company has done for hundreds and thousands of people. So I just felt like I should be a part of it. And so I just want to tell you that there are a few different ways that you can purchase Plexus products. You can obviously purchase retail, which is where you pay full price. You do a one-time order, you are guaranteed a 60-day money-back guarantee. There is no minimum order and there is no contract, right? Then there's a preferred way to shop. That gives you a discounted price. You get auto refill shipment, meaning it comes every month and you don't have to worry ever about going in and ordering yourself more. You get the 60-day money-back guarantee, whether you like it or not, whether you sell it or not you get the 60 day money back guarantee. There's no minimum order requirement. There is no contract. You get to save about 10% a month and you can cancel at any time. Again, 60 day money back guarantee. The wholesale option is for someone who'd be interested in joining the team. And what that means is I'm, he I'm a health coach. I'm looking to help other people be health coach, excuse me, <clears throat> health coaches, but it takes a team and it takes a lot of people to help make big change. And well, I'm just gonna be honest and share with you now. Um, what's on my heart is to make, create big change. And I do, not, and I do not want any more people going through losing a loved one like I have recently when it is possible to create change. And so I wanna help create other people to take that step and help create change. So that being said, the wholesale option may be for them, but it doesn't have to be, okay? So what this offers is the lowest price of paying for the product. Again, auto refill shipment, no penalty to cancel, right? Purchase one time only. It's a below wholesale cost in that you get points to purchase in the future more product that you want with no cost. Um, no minimum order. Wait, what? <laughs> no contract. Wait, what? Uh, you can start your own if you want by sharing and pay $34.95. And that gives you a, a nice little website where you can order your own yourself. And you have the ability to earn product and income. And you can still cancel at any time. And again, 60 day money back guarantee. So that being said, my goal, my hope is for you to get healthy, get happy, and join me. How you can do that, and again, you don't even have to sell. You don't even have to, you know, uh, get all crazy. <laughs> I'm offering you to join a, a group that I will be starting very soon. Excuse me again, my nose is a little runny still. Um, I'm offering a great opportunity for people who are interested in getting themselves healthier, right? So maybe you think this could be for you, but you're not exactly sure. This might lead you on that journey, right? So what I'm offering is at a low, low price of F-R-E-E, -E, a small group of people who are willing to take Plexus supplements. They're willing to drink more water. They're willing to be provided daily inspiration, videos, tips, maybe studies 
And I have a fabulous study from a wonderful man named Rick Warren. And I taught this at my church and it went over uh, amazingly well, the Daniel plan, which I've always wanted to do via Zoom. And maybe I can do that with your group, okay? Um, I can offer accountability. I can offer all of that great stuff, okay? In this small, nice group setting. Uh, the other thing we will get is one-on-ones and answering questions. You will get that with me. Um, and I can provide that um, whenever needed, you know, one-on-one -on -one help it, um, if desired. And we can even do that over the internet, which is awesome. So you don't even have to be in my little town. That's what Skype is great for. And, and uh, on the iPhone, um, what is it? FaceTime, right? That's what's great about technology today. I can go shopping with you in Arizona or New Mexico or wherever you live, which is awesome. Okay. The other thing I can help out is pantry cleanouts. I can help you via you hold up your thing and I can tell you, okay, this is good, this is good, this is not good, right? So that's the kind of stuff sometimes people are looking for. I can still help you with that. All right, so I'd love to help you, have you join me. Um, and all I wanna say is encourage you, what do you have to lose, right? With the Plexus, there's 60 day money back guarantee. So in my opinion, there's really, no excuse. There's no reason to not. Now, with the other stuff, you might be saying, yeah, but I don't want to eat that way. I love my Doritos. Well, my favorite thing, people, has been the last few years finding product that kind of satisfy those cravings in a different, healthier way. And I've introduced some of my friends to my favorite chip called Bonitos. And these chips are made out of white navy beans and guess what? They flavor the chip like Doritos or lime or nacho. There's a nacho one. That, oh, that's Dorito. Uh, what's the other Dorito one? Uh, there's the restaurant one that's great with salsa. Oh, my gosh. Um, the, what was I thinking, though? The, um, oh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Anyways, so I love, as a coach, to help people kind of navigate some of that stuff, too. And so that's why I've asked from the very beginning to have an open mind. If you have an open mind, I feel like there's so much that you can do successfully. All right. Now, that being said, all of these products, all of this, uh, this system, right, of eating differently and shopping and thinking differently, it all takes time. There is no one quick fix. There is no such thing ever. Ever. Okay, you have to understand that your body did not do this in a short amount of time. It's not going to get better in a short amount of time. That's why Plexus offers a 60-day money-back guarantee, not a 30-day money-back guarantee, not a 15-day money-back guarantee. It takes a little while, right? Now, you will, see, excuse me, you will see some results after 60 days. However, my caveat, my um, added thing is that after 90 days, you will then really, really see your biggest difference. So I like to say, because honestly, that's how long it took for me, three months. Um, after those three months, golden, right? And again, we know how to check. We know how to look at our body, listen, feel, smell, all that. That's how you know. Give it 90 days. I promise you, you'll be feeling better, looking better, smelling better, everything better. <laughs> All right. Now, talk to me after about how you can get started feeling better and looking better today. I'm so excited to help you. All right. That is my main spiel. I hope you learned a few things. Now, I'm sure some of you probably have questions, right? And obviously, because this is recording and we have the opportunity. You can private message me or call me at any time. You know, within reason. Obviously, messaging is any time. <laughs> I don't have to answer it. Um, what I mean by that is get back to me and let me know what it is that you're struggling with. How can I help you? This journey has been going on for a long time. I've learned a lot. I've read a lot. I've watched a lot. Mm, documentaries and that kind of thing. I'm very passionate, if you can't tell. I just want to help people be their happiest, healthiest, most successful selves that they can be. And so I'm asking for you to join me and uh, give it a try because I care deeply. I really do. All right, everybody. 
that's what I have. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm. It's still recording. Mm -hmm. Now? Mm -mm. No, no. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Is it still recording? Mm -hmm. It did. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you mean Julia did that? <laughs> You're like, I'm on camera. Ugh. Now you can stuff your face. All right. End of slideshow, swipe forward to exit. What does that mean? Yeah. Okay, now my yeah, it's it yeah, it is, it is. Okay. Okay, because one hour is too long, you mean? Oh, was it? What time did I start at? I was watching my clock. I thought we started at 10, no? Hmm. Do I have to jump back? Why is this still up? Like, I, I have a little black bar that... End meeting. I have to hit end meeting, I guess.